Hi, Phyllis. How are you? I just noticed that I need to get the slip knot out of my necklace because it's so long. And I did a slip knot, but it's not, not up high enough. You can't even see my necklace. So I'm redoing that real quick. Dragging as usual, yeah. I usually am by the end of the day too. I usually try to take a little nap in the afternoons just because. Uh, I'm okay. I'm tired trying to try all this new things and get ready for the trip on Thursday and everything. So I'm hoping can ra relax while gone a couple of days and uh, do something to regroup. <laughs> Hello, Michelle. We just started. If you guys would please tag your friends. Either tag them inside the show. Yeah, it seems like I always always have too much going on <laughs> tag your friends to come into the show or send them a link or um, something to get them in here so we can have more people and have more fun oh hi Pat good to see you we're gonna play some more Halloween trivia but I'm gonna do it a certain way I'm gonna ask the question this time and if if nobody knows the answer, I have multiple choice. So we're going to do it that way. And see if we can get some more answers. But it's always fun to, um, to learn some stuff about Halloween. Now just as a reminder, you guys, make sure you post your pictures. I mean, today's the 17th, so the month's getting away from us. Make sure you post your pictures of wearing your paparazzi jewelry on the group page and then also this month trying to get my membership built up um, Phyllis is the only one that's invited somebody that has uh, joined the group this month so it's a drawing for a four piece a free four piece set of jewelry so think of somebody that you maybe haven't invited to join the <laughs> you know what's funny, Patty? I made some of these questions up, and then, uh, you know, but I went in and I got some from a couple of sites, too. So one of the sites, this is how much people don't pay attention, okay? They ask the question, and then they give three answers, okay? They ask the question, and they give the option of one, two, three, Okay, so I go down to the bottom of the page where it goes to give you the answers for each question, right? Well, they did it A, B, C. <laughs> I just had to laugh. I'm like, people just do not pay attention anymore. It's just too funny. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Oh gosh, is this too funny? <laughs> uh, so what I did, the reason that this is surprise vintage, I'm still unpacking things. I mean, you guys, I have so much that I still have, I think three boxes over there, two little ones. And so I started into one of the little ones today and just, I just picked out the items and I put them on my table and I put numbers on there. I wasn't picky. I just, whatever came out, that's what's on the table. So it was a surprise to me. And then, uh, oh, <laughs> that's funny, Pat. Uh, it is humans nowadays, I swear. Anyway, so I did not say, oh, I'm not going to show that. Or, hey, I'm going to, yeah, I'll show that. I just, I literally picked them out, put them on the table, made sure that they weren't tangled up, and put a number on them. So, that's how we're going to do it tonight, and we'll see how many um, comes in to see how long I'll do it uh, tonight, but 
I have several things to show. I'm always going to have several things for a while. And this helps me get it out of the box, and then the next day I take the pictures, and I have to go ahead and put it up, okay? And, and then tomorrow at 2 o'clock, don't forget, I'm going to do a short live on those other 15. Well, actually, today I found another one. So 16, the other 16 two-piece sets. And I'll do that at 2 o'clock, and it's just going to be a quick little, um, I think last time it was like 25 minutes or something. You know, just something real quick. And have you guys been watching the, the short little 10-minute videos I've been doing on the, on the open cuff bracelets? So I finished this side today. This is black, blue, brown, green, orange. And then today I did pink, purple. Actually sold the only purple bracelet I had. Um, yeah, it does make it easier, Pat. Red and white, okay? So that's going to be tomorrow. I mean, those have been two days ago and today. Sorry. Tomorrow I'm doing... Bling, brass, copper, gold, gunmetal. Okay, that'll be tomorrow. And then Thursday before I leave um, on my couple day trip, I'll be doing rose gold, shiny copper, and silver. So that'll be all my open cuff bracelets so that, so that I don't have to pull things from the show. Um, it'll just be quick little things to do. And then that'll be all my cuff bracelets. And I was wanting to show, where'd it go? Okay. I want to show this ring again tonight if I have different people on it because I love this ring for fall. <clears throat> okay. So, um, I wanted to play the commenting game tonight, but we'll see how many come on. Because that only works if there's a certain number of people on here. Okay. So, I'm going to start here again. The first one is what I just pulled. Some of you may not have been on to see this ring. I showed this ring on Sunday night. It is a beautiful brown copper ring for fall. Look, I have my leaves shirt on with all the different colors. And they actually had snow on the mountains toward where we're going. Um, but we're not going to be that high up in the mountains. But, yeah, I love this shirt because it's all leaves. Uh, Ray made these on his 3D printer um, for me to go with that. I think he made them last year. But, yeah, I love the oranges and the yellows and the off-white greens and aquas in this shirt. I think this ring, which I don't have another ring, I'm wearing, like, the topaz ring, you know, because it's kind of, the fall color. I've got the this coil bracelet, but um, I got I had two of these and I kept one for myself, so I might wear this with it. But I think this is so pretty for fall. The brown copper with your boots and your purses that you might um, wear in the fall, and it's just got the open area on here. I I love this one. So I showed that Sunday night. I'm just gonna keep. I'm going to show it because it's a beautiful color. Number 51 for this ring. Okay. I just wanted to show that one again. So let me show the, the rings because they're always easier to do at first in case I have to redo them. This one is number four. This is just a plain silver ring with silver work around it and black background. Yeah, that brown copper one is gorgeous. So nothing on here, no stone or anything. It's just something simple in case you need to not have something, you know, bright. But just something to, you know, not even have to think on. Just go out the door. This one is number four. I have a man's ring. This is going to be number 48. And instead of having the stretchy backs on the back, like most of the rings, the men's have the sections, the stretchy sections like this. And let me put it on my middle finger. This has, it's really pretty. This has um, 
hematite stones in it and just plain silver. So, you know, it's not like um, clear that looks like diamonds or anything. It's the dark. You know how they wear those silicone wedding bands now that are black and just uh, down paired a little bit more plain for the men? So is this ring. It's not a lot blingy, but it has a little bit of bling to it. This one's really nice for a man. So it'll fit my middle finger too. Number 48, 48 for this man's ring. This is the only one I'm showing tonight. It was, like I say, it was in the box. I started unpacking today. This one I did pull out of my tray, 69, because I didn't pull out a lot of rings today. This one is 69. It's kind of a snake effect by how it winds around like this. And that is like a, a pretty topaz color like this, but it's smaller. And then you have the other one that comes down and starts a little lower, but is the same design on just the plain white chips on those rhinestones. It has open space in here, so it doesn't look like it's really bulky. And it does go up here to the finger, but like I say, when they have the open spaces here, they don't, you know, they don't feel like there's a lot there. Okay, number 69 for this one. Thank you for tagging people in, Phyllis. This one is just a small little red ring, red and silver. It just has the small back on it, like this one has the small one instead of the thick one. If you have some red jewelry, this is a small little dainty ring. Just has the plain band in the middle and the little silver pieces here and just a plain red stone. Hi, Darla Moreno. You could also wear this little red stone on your pinky. This is on the ring finger. This is on the index finger. I don't think it'll go on my middle one. It'll go on three fingers. So just a cute little red, red stone. A tween or a teenager too. This would be very simple for them. Number nine. You know, it's pretty easy to to buy for young kids and it's pretty easy to buy for adults but those tweens and teens you know it's hard to find things that are appropriately and proportionately um, you know sized for them so this would work on there number nine for the little red ring very dainty I also pulled this one out of the tray, like I said, these last two because I didn't pull out a lot of rings. Number 62 for this next one. This is a copper, a shiny copper ring. It's not, it's not real shiny, it's not that real shiny, shiny copper, but it's not the regular copper too. It's almost a blend in between. But look at all of that really pretty design work on there. Like I say, I don't know how they can make these for $5, but this is a beautiful ring. I like all of the all of the artwork on that. Number 62. Yeah, it's pretty and it's not big. That doesn't go up to your you know, knuckle or anything. But I like it because it's something, you know, other than just silver or gold. Number 62. And then I have one more ring to show you. This is in the rose gold. It's really pretty for this time of year as well. Number 37 for this ring. I showed this on the garden show I did one night. It has the little partial flowers on it, like part of a sunflower, leaves on there, and then part of another one on the bottom. 
so leaves all on this half of a sunflower down here and like half of it on there this is in that rose gold you want 62 Phyllis all right I got gotcha. you and it has that little bit of open space on this one as well I like that rose gold because it's between the gold and the shiny copper kind of a step in between that number 37 37 for that one okay phyllis let me get this 62 for you i had two purchases today to go toward our count tonight hopefully we can get up to 10 to at least give one piece away Okay, Phyllis, I got you down for 62. That's a very, a very um, elegant looking ring without being bling. Phyllis, that is so pretty. Oh, hi, Sheila. Okie doke. We, we had two pre-sales and Phyllis just got it started. So that's good. All right. Now I want to show you um, a couple of things first because I, as I pulled them out, I have other items in those. But I have them in different colors. So I'm going to show those first so that I don't forget number 95 for this upcoming necklace number 95 this has silver tassel earrings and the long chain and it comes down to this orange design kind of looks like something in the garden and I remembered that I have one that's just like this in the green. These are pretty fall colors too. The orange and the green. Green could also be used in the spring. Of course you have flowers in this color for the summer too, but I like them because they look like the iron, um, iron work pieces that you see in the gardens or on a gate. Okay, so this is going to be number 95, and you can say orange or red. 95 in the orange or the red, and this will come down um, below your bus line. Number 95 for those. And then I have another one that I have in I think this is three colors. And I think you guys are probably going to remember this. This is going to be number 76 for this necklace. Number 76, five, yeah, 76. Oh my gosh, guys. I covered up part of the part of it and thought it was a five. <laughs> Woo. Okay. <laughs> oh, these are two little crystal earrings encased in the silver and a tiny little link chain this is also probably going to go down just below your bus line after i sh show these we'll do our first halloween trivia question okay so this is a puffy heart one side is plain and just has the carving in it they do this in a mold i believe puffy heart on this side but then it has one larger crystal and then all of the other ones on here are just the beads. Just the beads on there. Okay. And then I've had this one for a while. So I have this in green. And the other night I had this one and I sold it in the lavender. And then I just found another one as I was digging items out. Oh, good, Dolly. Yeah, Dolly bought the, the lavender one. And then I showed the green one, and now I have the red one. Okay? Any of those three, 
I'll put it back up there again. See if I can hold all three without them going down too far. Okay, any of these number 76? You can say green, red, or lavender for these. It's funny how I just sold that lavender one and then I just unpacked another one. Okay, so lavender, green, or red. The red one is the one I unpacked today. Now, if you guys know some people, I have one customer, she does not have pierced ears. These are the clip-ons. I'm going to tell you about the clip-ons. Number 46, okay? On What paparazzi did on the clip-on earrings is they put little pads back here on the inside. You usually have to buy those and put them on yourself, but paparazzi has those on there. And these are cute little earrings, just little crisscrosses or pluses on your ear. That's the bottom, and so they look like little pluses. That'd be cute for a math teacher, wouldn't it, to have these earrings? So you have the cushion on there, so even if you have your ears pierced, you know, you can still wear these. The other ways that you can wear these is you can put these on a pullback. If you pull your hair back into a ponytail, these would clip right over top of the ponytail holder. These can also be used on pump shoes as something to put in that. Just clip them on the front of your shoes so that the clip goes on the inside to add a little embellishment. Oh, do you, Phyllis? Aw, that's sweet. Well, I, I wear some of them. I have some of my grandmother's, and um, I do wear my clip-ons every once in a while. Now, even with the, the pads on these ones, um, I still can only wear them like, I don't know, two to four hours. Um, you know, I think it's just the way clip-ons are made. But I do wear, wear my um, grandma's things. The one that lived in Florida, every time I go to Florida, I take her jewelry with me because she had to move there from Vito Lake when my grandpa got sick, sick with emphysema. So every time I go to the ocean, I... I take those. It always brings a smile to my face when I wear them out somewhere. So these are number 46, the clip-on plus signs. Number 46, like I say, this would be great for a math teacher if you know anybody that teaches math. Okay, this is number 42. Number 42 for this necklace. These are just... Um, the tassel earrings, like on so many of, of our earrings, the chain comes down. Hey, if you guys are on, please say hi. We'd like to say hi to you. Oh, I said I was going to do a trivia question, didn't I? I'll do it after this. I get sidetracked showing the jewelry, and I forget about the other things. Isn't this pretty? This is just this hammered metal going around, and it's like hammered. It's not really hammered. It's shaped. It's like waves. You see how it's wavy here? And it just goes all the waves around here. And this does not have striations. This is just a plain red necklace. This is going to come down about to your bust line. Not below it, but just probably right at it. But it's a shiny, pretty color of red, like a Christmas red. 42, number 42 for this one. Okay, 42 for this one. All right, let me do a trivia question before I forget. Now, this is a really hard question. I sure as heck did not know the answer to this one. Have you guys ever heard of the fear of Halloween? I know a lot of people are, are frightened of certain things, but there actually is... Um, the name of something that's a phobia of the fear of Halloween. Now, if you don't know the answer to that, that's fine. I'm going to give you three choices if you don't know. It's a really weird um, name, so you may know it. Somebody might know it. I just don't. Hi, Gwen. 
Anybody have just a guess? Now don't cheat and look it up. Okay, so I'm going to give you I'm going to give you Ask Gwen. Yeah, Gwen, do you happen to know what the fear of Halloween is? By any chance? If not, I'm going to do a multiple choice. And everybody can see if they get it right. Happen to know what that is? Phyllis said, ask Gwen. Okay. All right. So the first one, first choice on the multiple choice for this is Colrophobia. It's C O U L R O phobia. Colrophobia. Okay. The second one is Haiti phobia. You know, like Hades. H A D E phobia. Haiti phobia. And then the last choice is Sam Hano phobia. I, I don't know if I'm saying it. Sam Hano phobia. S A M H A I N O phobia. Okay, Pat, guess two. Everybody take one. Guess one. Everybody guess one that you want to guess. All right, got eight people down and I've got, five, six, six of you guessing here. Okay, anybody else want to guess? Okay, what's well actually is the third one. Gwen, Darla, Dolly, and Sheila got that right as a choice. Okay, so I'm writing you guys down as that one. All right, I'll show a few more items and then I'll do another question. These are really pretty and different. Number 26. Okay, number 26. And look at these. That has the large pearl down on the bottom. A few of the smaller pearls. And this is around a circle that they kind of go over top of each other. They don't really intertwine, but they overlap each other. <laughs> You weren't very good at multiple choice even in school, Patty. <laughs> oh, that's funny. These are so different. If you have a um, pearl necklace and you just want to um, update, maybe just having regular earrings, these are really pretty and different. These would be pretty to wear at a wedding as well. Number 26, those pretty little flower earrings the other night with the little fabric flowers at the top and the pearls. Somebody bought those. I'm so glad. They were so pretty. These would also be really pretty. <laughs> uh, like I say, to wear at a wedding, to somebody's anniversary party. Number 26 for these, and these are post backs. Post backs. This is another Moonstone necklace. I'm so glad those are coming in. They are so hard to find, and I'm so lucky to be getting a few of these vintage ones. Number 53, this is a white Moonstone necklace, and it has the two pretty little white Moonstone earrings. comes down in a more delicate chain. It comes down to this little ball, and I'm just calling it a disco ball. That reminds me of the New Year's ball that comes down. 
And then this is the moonstone. Look how beautiful that is when it moves with the light. That's really a white line there. I don't think I've seen um, this white of a one that has so much on that white line. Usually they're kind of smaller. And then it comes down and has the top with the tassel, long tassel hanging from it. Looks like this. This would come down to a bit below your breast line. It is a beautiful moonstone. And it has the little moonstone earrings with it. Okay. This is number 53. Yeah, this one is really pretty. Like I say, that look how large that is, that moonstone line. So pretty. Number 53 for this one. Then I have a number 83, kind of one end of the spectrum to the other. That one was white. This is brown. Yeah, that white moonstone is really pretty. I have a few um, white moonstone necklaces around here. Number 83 for this one. This has pretty little, like, caramel brown, little ball earrings. This chain that comes down, again, a lot of these necklaces are long because people tend to wear those too in the winter, like with sweaters. They tend to wear longer necklaces coming down. And look how pretty this is in this like dark caramel brown. See the striations on the teardrop piece up here? And then on this one, that's a lot of crackle on there. A lot of striations looks more like crackle than just, yeah, like a cocoa chocolate color. Again, when you're wearing boots, the brown boots in the winter and everything, this would be so pretty. And it just has, you know, it's very simple. It just has the beads around here. You've got smooth silver, the beads around here, and one little place indention there to help hold that sandstone in there it's very simple there's not a lot to distract you this is really pretty very simple and elegant just for a sec I'm just going to put the stone part up here so you can see it a little bit better it didn't show against my skin that well see isn't that really pretty Okay, so this is number 83, guys, number 83 for this one. Okay, I got another one of this in, and I go, oh, I have one like this. Solid color clothes, yeah. It is hard, like this is print, and I just have this amber stone on, but it fits the fall, the fall leaves colors on here. That brown one would probably go with this pretty good too. Number 82 for this one. Like I say, I've shown this before because I have a second one, but this one just pulled out of the box today. Look at this beautiful shade of blue on these earrings, and look how pretty these little earrings are. Okay, you'll see in the necklace that that has some of the same shading. This is a shorter one, so don't have to pull this up or anything. And then look at this effect, this drape effect on this. So you see that the earrings match the blue up here, and then there's a darker blue on this. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the bust so you can see the whole overall effect of it I like that the uh, earrings that go with it are are the exact same and it's just a free fall free fall necklace okay so it's not really a symmetrical design design at all just a little bit of a free free fall design on there 
And then this is number 82 for this one. Number 82. I do have two of these. Number 82. Another little blue necklace. Number 73. It is very pretty. I like that it has the different shades and not just one monotone. That always creates interest. Number 73, two pretty little country blue ball earrings. And it comes down. This will probably hang just on your chest. But then look at this little curtain. How this falls down. Look at the little cylinders there. You've got a silver bead, a blue cylinder, a silver bead, and then a ring with the beads in there that's the same as the earrings. So another good design that has the, the earrings and they've incorporated them into the necklace. I will also hang this up for you so you can see this one. So there you go. There's the earrings and it comes down just like this. And they'll hang all on the outside like that to all the way down here. Another pretty blue. I would say that that's the country blue. And then you've got the crystal ones. You've got the solid ones and you've got the elongated crystal ones. 73, 73 for this necklace. I, I don't know God, if, if you guys can hear it or not, but I have a cricket in here somewhere. And so he's making some noise for me. So if you hear it, <laughs> oh, that's what it is. <laughs> Too funny. I guess he's trying to sing with the music. I'll show a couple more thing. Oh, you did hear it, Dolly. <laughs> yeah, he's just keeping me company down here. I got the cat over there and the dog under my feet. Now I got a cricket. So they're just helping me. Okay, guys. Now this is going to be hard to see on camera. These are such a deep garnet red that they look black. But maybe at certain angles you might be able to see the red, but this is garnet. That is January's birthstone, the garnet. Dainty little chain that can't comes down. If you know somebody's birthday in January, this would be pretty. A large circle, and then again, it looks black, but it is not. It is that deep red, that garnet color. Just trying to catch the light right. I did not get that little extra little light out I said I was going to get yet. Hard to see. Darn it. Hard to show you guys. I promise, though, that this is a garnet red. Garnet red for this one. Oh, there. You can see some of it. Just as I put it down a little bit further. Okay, number 54 for this. Number 54 for the garnet red. have to be finding that before bed and putting it outside that's for sure number 64 this is gunmetal bling okay these have the posts on the back and then you can wear these however you would want to on your ears whichever direction you'd want I'd probably wear them you know the way that your the way that your ears go so this would go on here but here's what they do. This has a clip on the back that holds onto your ear. So you actually wear them up this direction, up on this direction, okay, like this. And then that ring holds it on the back of your ear. So you just put it in your hole down here 
and it goes up like that and that ring catches and holds it up on the top part of your ear okay so like I say they're gunmetal you can see the darker color back here but you don't see much of the gunmetal yeah I've got some of these that are gold with the crystals and I like them and I get so many compliments on them it's kind of if you're going to a dressier event um, is what I wear mine for but I like wearing them in the around Christmas like you know silver and gold um, for that these could be for Halloween since they're got the darker finish too really Okay, so these are number 64. Number 64. And if you haven't tried any, they're fun to wear. You don't really feel them down here. Okay, Darla, you want these? Cool. Yeah, I think, Darla, don't you have a pair that work like that? I thought you got a pair like that before. Gunmetal bleeding earrings. Two pairs. Okay, I thought so, Darla. I thought I rem remembered. When you get those, um, or one of your other pairs, post a picture of those so that the other girls can see what they look like. I, I didn't think to put it on tonight because I wanted to wear my earrings that Ray made to match my shirt. So I didn't even think to wear those. Okay, uh, let me show one more because this is also gunmetal. It's a necklace, and then I'll ask another question. Number 40 for this one. These are like a, a hematite stone. Okay, and they're surrounded by the gunmetal. This is the gunmetal chain that comes down. The between the, it's not quite black and not gray, it's kind of in between. And look at this marbled red. Almost, almost like an Art Deco feel to this. Really pretty, really different. I have a, a blouse that looks exactly like that. It would just blend in too much. But I love that blouse I have. And then you've got the, the triangle here. And it's got the little hematite stones in there. Okay, this one would probably go, yeah, right across the bus line. Oh, for Harry Potter? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Something like that. But it's really, I really like it. That would look really pretty on a black blouse or sweater. It would stand out really well. Number 40 for this one. Number 40 for this gunmetal chain necklace love that red marbleized okay so let's ask another question okay remember no cheating and if if somebody doesn't get the answer then i'll give you a choice again okay so the first known mention of trick-or-treating in print in north america occurred when Bonus points if you know where. <laughs> I'll give you two entries into it. Give you two right answer. We're going to give it to the one that gets the most the most points. Of course, we got a four-way tie right now because you guessed one of the options. I'm sure there'll be a tiebreaker here. Anybody have any idea? The first known mention of trick-or-treating in print in North America occurred what year? What year is the question? Bonus points if you know the location. A bonus correct answer.
Okay, so far nobody's got it right, so I'm gonna give you three choices, okay? The first answer is 1879. That's number one choice. Number two choice is 1965. Of course, we pretty much know that that's not right. Because they had Halloween way before our time as kids. Number three is 1927. So we're pretty much down to 1879 or 1927. So take one guess. Everybody take a guess between those two. Eighteen seventy nine or nineteen twenty seven. Anybody else want to guess? Okay, Gwen was the only one that got that right. Nineteen twenty seven. I thought it was way before that, but it says in print. Mention of Halloween in print. So Gwen got that one right. Now let's see, now this is North America. Okay, North America, the whole continent. Okay, anybody have a guess of where it occurred? Anybody have a guess? Don't cheat, don't cheat. <laughs> okay, anybody else have a guess besides Dolly? And Salem, Massachusetts guest earlier was not it. Okay. All right. Anybody else want to guess? Okay. It was in Alberta, Canada, guys. Alberta, Canada. Okay, so Gwen gets a point for that one. All right, let's go through some more and then I'll ask another question. This is another beautiful red necklace, number 21. 21 for this one, but it has the, the white crystal earrings, the little ones encased in silver, has a chain, medium length comes down and would probably be about your breast line. And look at these beautiful, these are almost a garnet. They're like between a ruby red and a garnet. Okay. Um, yeah, those other ones were almost black. This one you can see the red. So it's between a ruby and a garnet. Isn't that beautiful? And it just has, you know, random red ones. And the rest of this is all filled in with the little crystals here and the little teardrop shape inside for the teardrop shape outside. Isn't that pretty? Number 21, kind of simple but elegant at the same time. Number 21 for this necklace, 21. I have some simple little pretty turquoise yeah, that would be pretty for Christmas, for sure. Number 50 for these earrings. These are just simple French hook earrings with turquoise and silver. There are no striations on these. 
they are just plain turquoise blue color and the little silver beads these are pretty don't hang down too far just past your mouth a little bit but the turquoise and silver number 50 for these earrings number 50 for these This is definitely a bling necklace. It's not too overboard, but it's definitely bling. Number three. Number three, these are the little crystals, little clear crystals with the silver encasements. Little tiny little chain comes down like this. And then this looks like a leaf, a leaf of bling. Look at the little veins in it and the shape. This would probably be down to your chest, but I want to show you the size of the ornament itself. Of the bling piece. And put it on black so you can see. Isn't that beautiful? The little veins on the leaf. So pretty. Thank you for who's doing hearts on the pieces. I appreciate it. That helps my algorithm, guys. Number three, number three for this. Yeah, it's really nice. And I'm sure I've got some earrings that would go with this very nicely. Number three for that leaf bling. This is 43. Now I've shown different colors of this I've had in before. This just has the little tassel earrings. Comes down on the long length. It'll go down below your breast line. I've had red. I've had yellow. I've had blue. And now I have black. On the Aztec design. Just very simple. It has a matte finish on the stone. It's not real shiny on there, so it tones it down and doesn't, you know, just not too shiny against everything else that you're wearing. Number 43 for this necklace. Number 43. This is a really pretty red necklace, guys. It's like a red orange. This would be pretty for fall as well. So funny today, I pulled out so many pieces out of that top of that little box that are fall colors. So these are the little earrings. See, they're red orange. I'd probably say orange red. But that pretty, pretty color. I don't. I haven't seen this color very often. Got the medium chain, probably down below your breast. Okay, so this has the earring, little crystal silver encased ones. It has the little silver balls, and it comes down to the top, having this little heart design, and then this piece. So it hangs like this. Isn't that pretty? I love the color for this. Like I say, it's like an orange red. Have not really seen this color before. I'll hold it up here on the bust a little bit so you can see it better against something. Isn't that really pretty? You could wear this even for Valentine's Day because it has the red in with the orange. If you don't have a paparazzi heart piece, this would be pretty for that. For, for when we wear those on the 14th of every month. Okay? So this is number 97. Number 97 for this one.
Okay, these are large hoop bling earrings in silver, 89. They have the post backs and then they're the hoops and they're thin, but they have the little tiny crystals. So not a lot of bling, but just a little bit. If you want to snazz up your outfit a little bit. These are not too big. They don't hang all the way down like a lot of them do. And they're so thin that it's just a touch of bling to any outfit. See, they go about like that. Number 89.89 for these. 89 for these. Do a couple more pieces again, and then we'll go do another trivia question. This is going to be number 55. 55 for this one. These have the regular tassel earrings. Comes all the way down on a delicate chain, definitely below your breast line. Little tiny pink one with the tassels again like the earrings and one blingy little crystal stone in the middle and those look at all those um, the top and the bottom for sure are little hearts on there top and bottom the little one the other ones can be but they're not closed all the way this is a smaller piece as far as just the part the decor part of the necklace 55 for that one 55. The next one's going to be gold necklace. This is very pretty, very interesting. Number five. Number five for this one. This is gold rings. Okay. This is the gold rings for the earrings. French hook on there. Your extender. And the medium length, medium things, right, they, they are, Dolly. And then you have three rings here that are about the size of the earrings that were there. And then the other direction, you have three rings that are larger that hang down. So these three rings act like a bail on the necklace that holds the other three rings. So when it's worn on you, it's going to look like this. And these are not attached. They're all three different. Like I say, the earrings are the same size as that. This is a gorgeous set that they put together. Yeah, this gold one is really pretty. Number five for this set. Number five for this one. Okay, let's do another trivia question. Now, those of you that are on that aren't answering, we are giving away jewelry for this, so. All right. Let's see if somebody can maybe guess this one without any help. <laughs> Which city holds the record for the most jack-o'-lanterns lit at once it's in the u.s i'll give you a hint which city holds the record for the most jack-o-lanterns lit at once in the u.s Dolly wanted to have her answer seen. She's even got it bolded. <laughs> like Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anybody else have a guess? Oh. 
Oh, yeah, I guess, yeah, sometimes when you start typing something, it'll do that. And then you go down and go, okay, and it does that. <laughs> uh, okay, anybody else want to take a guess? Nobody wants to take a guess? Okay, well, Dolly got that right. It was Boston, Pat. It was Boston. <laughs> no kidding, Dolly. <laughs> you got it right. Good guesser. Good guesser. Okay, let's see what else I have for you, ladies. This is going to be 35, number 35. This has clear little ball earrings, medium sized chain, comes down probably to about your breast line. And then look at this little drop. It's like um it's like one of the crystals on the sheen de lire. Now this is just like the other one I showed you. That was the orange and red. Just like that one, except this one is in clear. <laughs> Had to keep guessing it until it was something, right? Okay, again, this has those little crystal, crystals like the earrings, the little silver balls, the little crystal pieces, and this is a clear one. This one is 35 and the orange one is 97. Same exact design. The orange one, 97. The clear one, 35. The rock music is a little mellow. It's, it's supposed to energize me and it's putting me to sleep because I'm tired. <laughs> 65 for this bracelet. Okay. This is like an antique brass. Okay. It comes apart like this and goes on your hand. It pulls apart a whole bunch. Somebody with a wide wrist, a big wrist, this would work for. And then you put it back in there. And this has three little, well, I can only pick a genre, unfortunately. <laughs> I tried using Pandora, but it kept kicking off the whole video. Okay, so these little discs, let me get the biggest one. So what it is, here is the flower on the largest disc. Okay, little flower. And the wind is blowing some of the petals off of it. And then the other two discs are just the petals being blown in the wind. So it's like a movement piece. It's showing movement on this. Okay, very easy to operate this if you've not had this kind before. This is number 65 for this antique brass bracelet. Number 65. have another bracelet here number 96 this is a bangle bracelet this is like antique silver guys it looks uh, grayish it's like an antique silver and you have the background and these look like little you know sunbursts they could be little flowers too little pom-poms it's just a bangle bracelet. I can very easily squeeze my hand and get it on. I have a seven inch wrist, okay? Plenty of room there and, and this is not hurting me at all. Getting it on and off, very easy. Number 96, number 96 for this one. Then I have a really pretty blingy Bangle bracelet, 38. This is that hot pink. 
hot pink but in a crystal so it shows different than hot pink as a solid stone but you have the little square pieces you have the little flowers the squares have the round pieces in there as well the same as the ones on the flowers okay Again, I'm putting this on very easily. Seven inch wrist, there's plenty of room here. It's moving quite good. And then I just am, am closing my fingers and it's coming off easily, not hurting my skin at all. Really pretty little bling pieces on that. Number 38, number 38. Okay, I have two of these necklaces, guys. Two of these are available. Number 28. Okay, number 28 for this. Now this has the dark hematite looking in the gold. This is a gold with hematite. You do not see this. This is the first piece I have seen with gold and hematite together really pretty usually it's with silver very dainty little chain coming down here it's going to hang a little bit below your breast line and that comes down to this piece with the hematite pieces exactly like the earrings on it and then this piece that's the teardrop shape it's open inside there not solid so it doesn't make it very heavy this comes all the way down on an asymmetrical design see how it comes down the one side explodes into a whole bunch of these and then comes back down and those those here on the end those are just little tiny little drops of gold beads in there and then it starts up with the hematites over here again this is very pretty. It looks like it's kind of hard to explain. It's way prettier in person than it's shown on the, the screen. It's just, I mean, look how different that is. Gold and hematite together. I've never seen it. I can tell that some of the pieces I'm getting in now are, are very, um, very vintage. Okay, Pat. Pat wants one. Does anybody else want the other one? I had two of these. Pat has one. It does. You're right, Dolly. That's right. It does look like 3D. Hematite gold necklace. I have one more left. If anybody's interested or if you know people that are interested in geology, Kathy Wolf would like this. Number 28. Number 28. One of these still available. Pat just bought one. I have another one. Hematite and gold. Beautiful, beautiful piece. And the back is just this with the striations on it. Okay. Hematite and gold. Number 28. Just the one left now. Just the one left. I hope you enjoy that, Patty. It's really pretty. Okay, number... I'll show three more and we'll do another question. Kind of have my items laid out in rows, so it helps. 41 for this one. 41 for this one. These... This is considered to be red, but it's not the shiny red. It's like a matte effect. You're welcome, Pat. They're kind of red and coppery mixed together, if that makes sense. Kind of red and coppery. Tiny little links in this that come down. Definitely will be below your bust line again. Here is one that's got facets on it and is clear. A larger bead that matches the earrings then you have a wavy you can see the waves this way a wavy circle and tassels 
the little end cap for the tassels and these aren't really long tassels that's a pretty piece isn't it I like the the color when when something's just a different color than you usually see it really grabs my eye so there's the earrings that grab that match the ball there okay this necklace is number 41 number 41 for this one okay This is going to be a medium length necklace, number 15, number 15 for this one. This is like a, a red wine color. Those are the little ball earrings, medium length on there, and this probably goes about to your breast line. Again, in a crescent shape. So you've got the ovals on the bottom and you've got the little just little ball beads there around the top inside I have another one like this I'm trying to remember what color it is but this is like a wine color like a burgundy I guess number 15 number 15 for this one okay I want to check something on this next one oh okay it's got little I'll show you something while I'm showing this yellow I think you think that's what it was patty yellow yeah maybe trying to look over there at my yellow ones number 88 for this now this is um this is turquoise but this turquoise does have striations those other earrings did not these do little ball earrings and this is on gold you usually don't see turquoise with gold either okay it has three little shapes like this with the gold beads in between it and you see the striations on there the brown striations then you have this other chain that has the tiny little balls sporadically around it well there it looks like they're evenly not sporadically put around there and then this is this shape that dangles down at the bottom in a layered necklace let me put this on the bus so you can see it together. Layers are hard for me to hold still for you to see, especially after COVID. Definitely have the shakes anymore. Okay, there's the three pieces. There's the earrings. It comes down with this. Okay, those are the two layers. If you did not want those earrings up top, remember I showed these earlier, but these are in silver and this is in gold, so maybe not. Okay, this is number 88, number 88 for this turquoise layered gold necklace. Number 88 for that one. Okay, let's ask another trivia question. See if I can finish up one page tonight. All right. You Do you guys like that candy corn? Do you guys like that candy? Oh, I, I used to kind of like it because it was sugar and everything, but I'm not really a fan. Do you guys like that candy corn? Yeah, that's I'm with you, Dolly. Yeah. What's numb? Is it yum? <laughs> What's numb? Is it yum or no? 
Phyllis. <laughs> Nummy. I still don't know what nummy means. <laughs> Only with peanuts it tastes like payday bars. Oh, really, Pat? Oh, I might have to try that. Oh, payday. Oh, I haven't had a payday in forever. Well, this question is about um, the candy corn. So let's take... We'll take we'll we'll take a um, stab at just someone guessing the number, but I'll probably have to give you options. How many pounds of candy corn are produced each year? How many pounds of candy corn are produced each year? <laughs> Cricket is still singing. You want to take a guess at the number, anybody? I'm going to give you three choices. I'll go ahead and give you three. No, that's not it, Darla. I'll go ahead and give you guys three choices, okay? Choice number one is 500,000. Choice number two is 10 million. Wow. Number three is 35 million. Three times wow, I guess. <laughs> 10 to 30. Okay. Number one, 500,000. Number two, 10 million. Number three, 35 million. One, two, or three? Answer. Number one, number two, number Anybody else want to guess? I've got four people out of six guessing. Four people. Anybody else want to guess? Is, did Gwen fall asleep because she's not answering anymore? <laughs> she fall asleep? Okay, Dolly got it again. 35 million, you guys. 35 million pounds. Can you imagine? 35 million pounds. Oh, there you are, Gwen. I hadn't seen you guessing any of the last couple questions, so I was just wondering. Yeah, 35 million of that. I cannot believe it. Cannot believe it. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you one last row of items, and I'll probably ask you one more question, then call it a night. Now, I talked about this next question last time, so some might have an unfair advantage, so I don't think I'm going to ask that one. I'll ask one more after I show I know, right, Dolly? That's why I was thinking. I was like, ugh, they might have made it, but did they sell it? <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Really true. Number 84 for this one. This is the shiny copper that everybody loves. I love this, too. Okay. These are the tassel earrings in the shiny copper. Pretty little dainty links on this chain comes down to the bail that holds this look at the design on that so pretty a little Celtic design looks like a little flower on the top okay then it has this texture on this design this looks kind of Indian-ish Mediterranean-ish and then this is the last design on it okay 
I'm going to hold that bottom part up on the bust so you can see how pretty this is. So, so there's the little top design. This one doesn't want to lay right tonight. That one has this. And then that design, like I say, a little Mediterranean Indian looking, number 84 for this shiny copper necklace on here. Number 84 for this one. This is a large stone on this necklace. Now this is not a moonstone. Okay, it's not a moonstone. It's just a large off-white piece on here. There are the tassel earrings, a sparkly diamond cut little dainty chain that comes down. This is going to be below your bust line for sure. And then this cream color. Now there's facets on this, so it's shiny in the light, but it's like a like a lemon juice yellow or off white this is in silver guys and then the the cap at the top that holds this tassels down like the earring yeah lemon juice color off white for this one and this is going to be number 61 number 61 for this one 61. So Gwen and Dolly are tied. Gwen and Dolly are tied. On answering the trivia questions. And if Darla. Oh, wait. Sorry. I forgot. Do okay. Dolly is ahead. Three. To two for Gwen. Sheila has one and Darla has one. So Dolly has three. Gwen has two. So Gwen, you got to answer that next one right. You get have a little playoff here. <laughs> okay, silver tassel earrings. Dainty little diamond cut chain again. Let me let it get it unwound here. This is pretty little seed beads, little green seed beads, just with a plain silver half bead in the middle. Very thin. This would probably go down to your bust line, but that's a very pretty, like an avocado, or like guacamole, not the avocado, but guacamole green. That's what it reminds me of. All those tiny little seed beads on this one is number 14, number 14 on this one. Number 14. Okay, now I have, just trying to see. Okay, this is different. I have a solid pink one like this. Okay, good night, Darla. This is a three see-through pink on here. I have a solid pink one just like this. If you look at this and would like it to be solid pink. Long diamond cut chain. Okay, and then it has the, the little clear crystal there and then it comes down to this pile the cluster filigree pieces here there's cloudy beads in here there's more see-through ones there's a white pearl there's uh, more of those with the cluster and another little pearl here some different shapes and comes down this is going to come down and then tassel at the end 
so pretty off of that bale, just all of it hanging like that. Come down below, below your breast line again. Okay, so I have the clear pink and I have a solid pink in this as well. So you could just say clear pink or solid pink. Number 32 for this one. 32 for this one. Okay, I have two different colors of this next one. I have an emerald green color and I have a hot pink color. Some of you have bought these in different shades. It's the round medallion with the Celtic cross on top. Okay, here's the hot pink. Oh, good, Patty. This is the hot pink little crystal encased in the silver. Delicate little chain that comes down. And some of you have some of these in different colors. I've had red. I've had different colors. This is the Celtic cross in hot pink with all of this metal work around here. And I also have this emerald green one. Oh, that emerald green always looks black on camera. But it is a emerald green, beautiful shade of green. I promise you. <laughs> so, trying to catch it at the right. Oh, so hard to see. Anyway, this is emerald green. Guys, it's hard to see. I know. There, it kind of went. You can see it sideways a little. Okay. So these are going to be number 75. 75 emerald green or hot pink. Okay. I have three more items to show, guys. And I'll ask one more trivia, see if we're going to have a tie, or if Dolly's going to get a free piece of jewelry. Okay, here's the tassel earrings. The little diamond cut chain again. Now this is black. All those tiny little beads on there, and then the... Um, increasing size here, a little silver bead. Extra small, small, medium, and large on those middle beads. This is still probably going to be below your breast line on this one. Very delicate. It doesn't weigh anything that's all at all. It's not heavy at all. This one is number 13. Number 13. This one has the tassel earrings, comes down on a medium chain, and then it has this silver piece, again, off of the bail, hanging down here. I like how these intertwine. They're um, circles, but they're not perfect circles. Okay, almost looks like a bow here in the middle with these two pieces here. That's probably down to your breast line. Like I say, I like them because they're they intertwine. Number sixty-eight, number sixty-eight for this one. Then one more, guys. Remember, I won't be on Thursday and Friday night. I'll be back on Sunday. Oh, hi Kelly, you always come on when we're kind of finishing up here. Um, but be sure to watch my short little videos. They're about uh, 9 to 10 minutes long on the open cuff bracelets I'm showing. Look at the pictures that I post after the next day after the show of what's left. And then uh, tomorrow um, I'll be doing uh, a short show about, you know, 20 to 30 minutes long about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm going to show yet. Okay, these are gold seed beads here. And Kelly, you can tell me if there's anything you want to see, rings or anything in particular. I'd be glad to go back through and show you. I've shown quite a bit tonight, like 30 to 40 pieces. Gold seed beads, a short necklace, and then it has this brass 
the brass balls here and the brass arch hollowed in the back so that it doesn't make it very heavy and this is going to come up you know pretty tall on you pretty high on you about where my neckline is on this one last item for the night this is number one number one for this one so Kelly just look at pictures tomorrow or tell me now before I'll let the other ladies go after this last trivia question and if there's anything you want to see you can say necklaces earrings bracelets rings whatever you might want to see okay so one last trivia question to see if um, Dolly's going to get an item or Gwen's going to come up and get it tied and we'll have to have a playoff question. Okay. So let's go with this question. Which animal's call was once thought to mean that somebody was going to die? Which animal's call was once thought to mean that someone was going to die? No cheating. <laughs> Don't look it up. Anybody else want to guess? Okay. Nobody else wants to guess. Kelly got that one right. Ow. Ow. Kelly, on my shows the whole rest of the month, I will be doing Halloween trivia questions, and whoever answers the most during one night we'll get a free piece of jewelry so darn it's fun but dolly had three points tonight so dolly you get a free piece of jewelry and what that means is that i will um send you an album from my free pieces so that you can choose one okay so i'll do that here in a little bit for you to choose one Okay. All right, guys. So remember, um, I've got videos on, on the group page of me showing, um, cuff bracelets and I'll be showing those, uh, tomorrow and Thursday before I, I, uh, leave out. I'll just be making a video and I'll be doing a show tomorrow at two o'clock. That's just a short, like 20 to 30 minute show on quick something. And so look for that, and if you guys have any questions or you're looking for something in particular, just get a hold of me and let me know, okay? And thanks for spending your night for me, with me. Thanks for supporting me, and um, I'll see you guys live again uh, tomorrow afternoon and then Sunday evening at 8 o'clock 8 o'clock uh, Eastern, all right? Thanks again, guys, and um, I'll see you soon, okay? Thank you. Good night. Thanks, Dolly.